the Rode Mic NTG2, a dual-powered directional condenser microphone. Let's get into it. In your box, you'll receive a microphone mount, a bag with the microphone, as well as a windshield. So getting into that bag, you'll have your Rode Mic NTG2 microphone right in there, and from there, it has one setting on it, which is the high-pass filter, which you'll want to note where it is. It is that little slit in the center of the microphone. We'll get into that in a little bit. Before that, remember, this NTG2 microphone has the capability of being used on the go with a battery, so don't forget, if you do want to use that, use a AA battery, throw it in there, screw it on, and you're good to go. Just make sure you have your XLR cable to hook up to your camera. Once you have your microphone mounted to the mount and you have your windshield on, we're ready to get into the high-pass filter. The straight line means that the high-pass filter is off, and the bowed line means that it is on, so if you want your high-pass filter, put it on by pushing it upward towards the arrow. A high-pass filter is an electronic filter that passes signals with a frequency higher than a certain cutoff frequency and attenuates signals with frequencies lower than the cutoff frequency. The amount of attenuation for each frequency depends on the filter design. On the simplest level, a high-pass filter is just a filter, sometimes called a low cut, that attenuates low frequencies below a certain cutoff frequency and allows frequencies above to pass. Now, last thing is to make sure you got an XLR cable to hook up to some audio interface that you're going to have your microphone hooked up to with some kind of phantom power. That is why you have the battery. If you are using your microphone with a camera on the go, you will need that AA battery in there. But regardless, let's get into testing this microphone as well as comparing it to our previous one. This is what we sound like on the Cinco D2 shotgun microphone. We still haven't gotten this Rode NTG2 shotgun microphone set up, but we're going to get that test. We're going to start with the no high pass filter, and then we're going to use the high pass filter and see what the difference is. Also, remember that I'm running all this sound through a Go XLR, which then I have a whole bunch of different settings set up with noise gates and stuff. So there's a lot more to it. I would search for one of those videos as well. You are hearing me on the Rode mic NTG2 coming in without the high pass filter. So far, it sounds like a million times better, a lot clearer. You can hear a much more rounded sound, it seems. At least in my approximation, I'm wearing a headset while watching a podcast while making a video. So who knows? Let's get on to the high pass filter test. Let's go. This is the high pass filter on the Rode NTG2 microphone. So I don't know what the big difference is here other than what high pass filter is regularly, which is some type of filter which cuts out all of the lower frequencies of the sound, leaving the top sound a little bit more full. Don't forget to kindly smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, become a member, help support the work that we do on this channel. Either way, we'll be back with another video covering some more stuff. Uh, please don't forget to stay elevated and peace out.